Hey Triassic Park friends and followers, it's Bjorn from Triassic Park. Um, today I'm going to show you a little video about feeding your Nopli the first several days. Um, I have had several questions from my customers and as well from several followers, like um, they were asking how do you feed your Nopli? So basically the Nopli are... Um, uh, triops that have just hatched so what I've done uh, I set up two little hatching containers inside this aquarium this is my 25 liter um, nursery tank or hatching hatching tank I also use it for selective breeding so I can select the ones that have the right colors into the big tank the big tank is over here and um, well um, some of the Nopli already hatched, so um, yeah, you can see them swimming around. Uh, they are pretty happy. They are just one day old, so um, after one day you are able to feed them. Uh, many manuals will tell you that you shouldn't feed them the first day. This is true. If you feed them on the first day, these little Nopli can actually overeat themselves. Um, they have a uh, naive state of mind, which means if they can access food, they will eat it. And if they ac can have uh, access to a lot of food, they will actually overeat themselves, which will cause death. Um, for that case, um, I'll show you how to dose um, some of the uh, green spirulina powder that I have over here uh, to your little dry-ups. Um, as you can see, I also have some Elodea... Uh, which is an oxygen plant inside the hatchery. This plant also has some algae on it, so uh, the traps are basically also able to eat a little bit from these plants. Um, which, uh, in my case, will mean that I actually don't have to add any more uh, spirulina powder. I will do so just to make sure they have uh, at least enough food to survive. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to dump it into these uh, containers because these. Uh, Napoli are only one day old so I should first skip the first day uh, of feeding so um, well I have this um, fake hatching container there are no Napoli inside but I will show you how I will usually dose my uh, spirulina so first I will use this pipette um, I use this to remove a little bit of water from the hatchery so let's just imagine this is a uh, fully functioning uh, Nopoli hatchery uh, there is several now please inside what I will do is first I will try to check if there I'm, when I'm going to remove some water that I'm not actually removing any Nopoli with it so first step take some water from your hatchery just put it in a little tiny dish like this one just put some droplets over here so next step is dosing your uh, spirulina um, I have a little baggie if you're a Triassic Park customer and you're European if you're a European as well um, Triassic Park is able to send you a spirulina algae powder uh, sample uh, together with your package um, This is for European customers only because I'm not able to send food and other types of uh, stuff across the ocean unfortunately so um, Yeah, let's open up the bag and uh, let's take a uh, Little bit of spirulina powder so people are asking me like how much should I put inside the hatchery? Um, this is basically not that much actually triops are really small the first several days So the amount of food should be small as well um, Let's get back to the Nopoli as you can see these guys are really really tiny so they don't need much food So we're not going to give them too much otherwise they will overeat themselves so what I usually do is I'm using a toothpick because most of the people will have a toothpick at hand and um, what I'm doing is just putting it in the bag and try to retrieve some uh, a little bit of powder on top of the toothpick like this is just a tiny bit and uh, add it to the water you can see a little green cloud um, starting to form. This is normal. Uh, it's the powder just mixing with the water. That was, that's something we are trying to do first. So um, let's get me. Let me get a little bit more. Yes, like this. So actually, we do have a little bit more spirulina powder right now. It's still not that much, but it doesn't have to be that much. Actually, I would take about. Two times this amount for like 10 or 20 triops. So 
Again, I'll just mix it and stir it up with a little water over here. And that's done. So what we do have now is some water with spirulina algae powder in it. And uh, what we're going to do next is suck it up with the pipette again. So the algae comes along. We will have a green pipette right now. It contains the algae. And what I'll usually do is just I will release several drops of water in each corner. Drops tend to stay in the corners a little bit the several first days. So that's why I'm always putting some drops inside the corners and several in the middle. Uh, this way the algae gets divided over the little space they have. Um, using these little hatching containers also reduces uh, the amount of space a Naupoli has to travel to actually find some food. Um, if I would hatch them inside this big tank it would take them way much more uh, energy and time to find actually a viable piece of food. Uh, while if you hatch them inside these containers food is already at hand because um, well, the space is just way smaller, so they don't have to travel a lot to actually find a little bit of food inside this little container. And, um, well, that's how I basically uh, feed my Napoli the first several days. Um, after a while, these little guys will start to uh, dwell on the bottom of your container. You will be finding them walking around, like in the corner, searching for little pieces of food. And basically, that's the time when I'll start to crumble just fish food pellets uh, into really, really tiny small pieces to feed these little guys um, yeah this is just an easy small video on how I um, feed my Napoli it's just a short video because it got requested by several customers so this is just a fast video to show you guys how I usually feed my Napoli once or twice a day uh, just make sure you don't overfeed them um, you can always leave some little plants in it or just use some detritus which is leaf litter that I'm using. Uh, this is uh, old oak leaf. Um, it also has been uh, infused with some aquarium water so this should actually be giving off some algae and uh, other forms of micro foods for the Napoli as well. And um, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, these guys will be fed tomorrow. Um, because they are too young right now uh, but I hope you guys got uh, the message uh, just feed them just a tiny bit of powder you don't have to put much powder inside the water um, otherwise you'll just regularly will overfeed them I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys got any questions feel free to uh, send a comment and uh, I'll try to uh, explain a little bit more about it uh, if you're um, interested so hope to see you guys next time and um, have a nice day bye